One of our contributors, sadly, Professor Zeev Siegel, passed away. And Professor Ariel Bendor is going to come up and read a passage from the paper that Professor Siegel prepared for this symposium. After that, I'm going to ask Professor Buckin to come up and start our first panel. Thank you. Good morning. Five days uh, before my dear friend and colleague, Professor Ziev uh, Siegel, passed away, I helped him to finish the paper he was uh, preparing for this uh, uh, symposium. And um, I will read the last part of uh, this paper. It was about judicial activism vis-a-vis -vis judicial uh, restraint from an Israeli viewpoint. Judicial activism or judicial self-restraint cannot be dealt with in a vacuum. Rather, they should be discussed in light of a particular society. Each society faces unique problems, and its judiciary is part and parcel of the baggage of democracy in the country in question. Israeli society is an overpraised society, a melting pot which faces special security problems and the danger of discrimination between different groups. The question regarding judicial activism and pacifism should be answered with the framework of the society. Israeli democracy would not have been the same without strong judicial activism, which in, in, interpreted laws on the assumption that the legislature did not intend to infringe on civil rights such as the equality of women and minorities, even when the subjective intent of, le of the legislatures was not to secure those rights. The same line should also have been adopted in the sphere of uh, social rights, as has uh, been advocated in the article. In interpreting the laws in the light of civil liberties, even in the absence of a written constitution, the Israeli Supreme Court narrowed the gap between law and society. In his jurisprudence, Justice Aaron Barak interpreted statutes to ensure that the law, in fact, bridges the gap between law and society, even if the price of judicial activism is sometimes high, it is worthwhile to ensure democracy in a diverse society. These uh, were the last uh, sentences that um, my friend uh, Zev Segal wrote. Uh, he was uh, one of uh, the most uh, important uh, Israeli public law professors. He was uh, also for a decade the uh, a senior legal commentator of Haaretz, with this, uh, with, which is the elite uh, Israeli uh, newspaper. And uh, I think uh, these uh, words really uh, are part of uh, the thinking uh, of uh, Zev Segal, Professor Zev Segal, which is also, also the thinking of Justice Barak. Thank you.